In this video, we will cover the last command on the stamping toolbar. So that's the user stamp. This is a very fun command because you can get to design a stamp in part design and then punch it in a sheet metal. So in order to do that, we will need to create a body. And when we click on this command, we see here it's asking for a punch not literally and here it's asking for an origin point which is going to be a point that we get and the reference for rotation which is going to be the surface but first let's create this punch because that's going to be the user stamp and because this happens in the same part file we will need to create a new body so let's insert a new body and we are going to give it a different color later. First, let's just give it a different name. Let's click OK. And let's switch to part design. Here we make sure that this is in working object. Otherwise, you click design in work object and it has to be underlined. And in here, Let's create a shape for our punch. So let's design a sketch somewhere on the surface. It doesn't matter where it's going to be. It just matters that from the start of the design here, you position the center of it in this center because that's going to be the positioning point on the sheet metal part. Otherwise, it's going to be offsetted when we positioning when we position on that position point so let's just start from here let's start with a circle like this give it a dimension let's see 65 now we see that this is probably didn't click well but we will add another dimension here so let's start from here Let's extrude this. 5 millimeters should be enough. Now we can give it a color. And on this surface, let's design some kind of pattern. So this is what I designed here, a circle and the line that goes at the half of the circle because I want to trim this part and this part and have here half a circle as a closed sketch. So the first feature I'm going to do a revolve, like to have half a sphere. Click on this and this is going to be see what's going on here okay let's do 180 degrees okay this is our first feature now i'm going to go here to patterns we cover patterns in the past circular pattern object this revolve it's going to be the object. The reference element is going to be the surface. At 90 degrees, for instances, this is how it's going to look. Let's do... So, one, two, three. So, we can do... Let's try six. Let's see how six looks. Six at 60 degrees. Now, let's make this diameter a little bigger. Let's try 12 to see how big maybe 15 and maybe bring this closer to the center okay let's see now those are too close so let's just send this back okay so this is better now this is even better so for now let's 
just add a radius here. Let's try a 2mm radius and a radius here. Let's make this one 2mm here. So let's add this everywhere. Now let's try and use this as a punch. I hope it's not too complicated. Let's go back to generative sheet metal design. Let's put the part body one as a working object. Let's add the positioning point around here somewhere. Okay. User stamp, punch, select the body from here. Faces for opening, we will see that later. Reference for rotation, the origin point, let's select the point. And we also have to select the surface. So this, um, so this option here has to be unchecked and just make this radius one for now. And we can see here the punch. It uses everywhere the radius that uh, we added on the punch. From here, from the handle, or from the rotation angle, we can rotate this if we need. On this uh, circular stamp, we don't need to do that, probably. We see here that this is the R1 radius. So it's here. So this is the radius. So we can make this one smaller if we want. Let's try 0 0.5. We also have a positioning sketch. As we can see the point, it's constrained to the point that we created on the surface. But we can also position this without a point and with normal dimensions here. If we reverse direction, we can see it how it looks on the other side. And if we click OK, you can see that this has been hidden. That's why you need to have it in, a, in another body. And let's try to do a modification here. So in order to increase this radius by 3 millimeters, let's bring this closer to the center a little. OK. So you can see also the punch is being modified. And now this one. Let's make this 3 millimeters to see if we start to have a radius in here. Okay. Yeah, so this starts to look strange. So this means... Let's just take one out. So 360 divided by 5 should be 72, if I remember well. Yes. So it's giving this error because we eliminated one of those features. And the software is now confused. It doesn't know where is the sixth element. Okay, finally. So, because we increase this on the other side, you see now we start to have a radius in here. Okay. So, those are things that you need to take in consideration. You need that a fillet in here. So, if you have a 3 millimeter fillet here on this other side, you need to subtract the thickness of the sheet metal and you will get a one millimeter thickness, a one millimeter fillet here.
so this fillet in here has one millimeter on the other side we get the other part of the fillet we get three here minus two which is the thickness so as you can see this is a very fun command to play around with so you should create a few punches like this one and see if you can manage it can be like a game create something in part design and see if you can manage to punch it in sheet metal that's like a, <laughs> a very fun game and then try to fix the errors to see what errors you get because you can get a lot of errors when you're trying to do this so with this command we finished the stamping toolbar i hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video